Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the Gaming Griffin. This is Tactical Tuesday and we're playing Shadowrun Returns. And if you remember, we ca finally caught a break. We got some of the Ripper's blood. So, now we're back at the Seamstresses Union, which during off hours apparently is a quiet place. But, nothing problematic there. Oh, Mrs. Kabuto is in the back. Hello. Are you another janitor? Alright, fine, whatever. Hey, I just swept there. My bad. Oh! Gathered around the intimate back bar, Mrs. Kabodo and her cautery gatherer for breakfast, with the lady herself doing the cooking. The smell of soy calf and something resembling sausages fills the room. What's in these sausages? <laughs> Alright, so there's Cherry Bomb. Mr. Clue. Evening, ma'am. What's the word around town, Mr. Clue? There's been more talk of the Ripper killings. Some people are saying they're hate crimes on account of all the victims of the victims all being human. I'm pretty sure it's more to do with the fact that the organs were kind of illegal, which would also explain why they were all human. What if I told you the prime suspects were an elf and a troll? I'm not quite ready to spread that around. There's more to it than just that. My thoughts exactly. People are just too quick to label something a hate crime. Check the census. The city is still 66% humans. Close your eyes and throw a rock, you're more than likely to hit a human. Doesn't make it a hate crime. Still a crime, though, and that should be enough. True that. This is the first real rise you've seen out of Mr. Clue, but he reins himself in with a roll of his thick shoulders and a smoothing of his jacket. Don't worry. Not gonna start throwing rocks. Wouldn't want to reinforce the stereotype. I'll leave you to your business, ma'am. Alright, so that's apparently the news on the town. Alright. Oh, hey -oh. Would you like some? She stops. Forgive me, Ome. But you look like hell. Thanks, just the welcome I was looking for. Long night, I've been working. Um, long night. She looks you over, noting the signs of your nocturnal activities, she nods. Any run you can walk away from is a good run. So I've been told, helps when the other team doesn't walk away, no one to follow you. Mwah. I agree, good to be back in one piece. I agree. It is good to have you back. Aw, they like me. I can tell you have been busy, and I can see by the look on your face there is something you need. Is this about the Ripper? It is indeed. Yep. I found some DNA evidence that I need help analyzing. Maybe. Anyone downstairs? Could be. I won't know until I get something analyzed. Could be. I understand. I will unlock the piano so you may go downstairs. Someone down there should be able to help you if they are awake. It is likely that you will visit the Matrix before the day is done. Thanks, be seeing you. Can I take a sausage? Take the whole plate. I like her. <laughs> Food. You are about to transition to a new location. Yep, let's roll. Digital world. Okay, so you've been doing a lot of legwork on this job, but it's going to require a trip to cyberspace and back to ID the Ripper, the Matrix, the cybernetic analog of inside the grid. I have a Tron flashback now. All right, anyway. The Worldwide Computer Network, a digital world information brought to life. Inside cyberspace, your avatar does all the work while your meat body's left behind. All around your avatar are pathways to other nodes filled with data, IC, counterintrusion programs, and other jacked-in runners. Cyberspace has as many dangers as the meat world, and more. Locked doors, security countermeasures, and black IC that can fry a Decker's brain. Every movement you make in the Matrix can be tracked if you aren't careful. Get dump shocked out and your brain gets fuzzy for a bit. Get hit by an enemy Decker and you can die. Good times. Good times. Alright. So let's see here. What do I have in my inventory? In stash. In stash. Decks. Weapons. All. 
Alright. Um. Yeah. Phosphorus and efficient. Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll stick with what I got. David Fry. Van Gross. Um, let's start with him. Was hoping to get some peace and quiet tonight. You got something for me? I've got a flight recorder. Wouldn't happen to be an Ares flight recorder, would it? Some very powerful buyers are looking for that. Yeah, if you remember, we happened to rip that off. I can get rid of it for you. For, say, 20%? Well, it leaves 2,000 for you. Deal. Pleasure doing business. Easy script, man. Easy script. Boy. Alright. Now it's time to go have some fun. And go around here. Is that arm still there? You think they would have disposed of that by now? Morning, you look like you've been up all night. You look like you've seen some action, too. Ah. Uh, suppose I could use a shower. Where's Dot Castle? Um. Hmm. Let's be sociable. You here to buy equipment? Negative need to DNA analysis. Fry can help you out. He can. Hmm. Doc Castle's equipment isn't really set up for that. He considers for a minute. However, I could employ a semiconductor chip. It could decode DNA using a voltage change <laughs> instead of light. That would eliminate the use of highly expensive equipment that would be required otherwise. He brains. I just read a journal about it, so the information's still fresh. Frankly, it should be easy. What do you want to know about it? The owner's identity. Ah, that's beyond me. All I can get you is the gene code sequence. Eh. But that's where I come in. David, if you can get me that code sequence, I'm pretty sure we could track its owner down via the ma via Matrix Run. Will do. Let me have the DNA you want to test. Give. Griffin, when David gives me the sequence, I'll jack in and help you trace the blood sample back to its source. If this works, I'll bring back more than just a sample. Whiz, get to work. Thanks, guys. If this works, we may find the Emerald City Ripper. Ah, uh, they deserve to know what they're sticking their neck out for. No dreck? He turns to Johnny, excited. Wake up, Johnny boy, you've got work to do. And Griffin, if you need any gear, I'll be right here. I just got a second wind. Meet you at my rig, Griffin. Well, so they know what they're what they're getting themselves into. All right, hardware or software? Take a look. Cyberdex. Oh, hello. So there's a new deck up for the consumables. So I'm gonna. I'm guessing these can be used inside. And these are programs, huh? Alright, I got 3,000 yen to my name. And I do believe, since we're actually going in, I'm gonna burn some karma. I got 19 to spare. Criminy! Alright, yeah, it's time to... And I do believe it's time to be a little bit nastier about it. Required for decking, main components, computer programs, increasing the skill. Yep. Shiny. Oops, I'm guessing it didn't take. Damn it. Alright. Power in the matrix. Um. Use the decking ring to get the chance to hit the computer or drones. Also, ah, uh, you know what? And I think it's always good to be intelligent. That should. Yeah, that should do it. Alright. Worst case, it's a terrible, terrible mistake, and I have to, you know, live with my shit. Alright. So. Take a look. My new baby. 
confirm. Alright, so this is... Deck. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so programs five, programs four. Uh, what? Oh, crap. Alright, so I can run five programs with this. Two ASBs, evasion three. Yeah, nice. Alright, this should be handy going in. Confirm. I wonder if they're gonna tell me more about programs. Um, just for the shits and giggles of it. That's pretty sexy looking. Also pretty cool. Standard blaster is always your friend. Dots are friendly. Straight up blaster. You know... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to decide. I mean... There's not really... Oh, shields. Medics... Does minus one AP to a single target. That's lame. Yeah, we'll go with that. That's shiny. Alright, screw it. Yoink. Okay. So... Dex, confirm. Excellent. Alright, I should be loaded for- I should be ready to rock on this. Alright, Johnny, what you got for me? Thanks to the semiconductor-based gene sequencing system that David employed, we should have the information we need to track the Ripper in the Matrix. I'm really impressed with this result, considering it was his first attempt. He was utilizing an unproven technique he's read about in a science journal, and he was working from memory on minimal sleep. That's great, Professor. What's the plan? Whatever. Sounds fascinating. Yes, maybe we can sit down with David and he can share his research, but let's stay focused. I like information. Here's what I'm thinking. We hit the Lone Star DNA database first to see if our donor has a prior criminal record. They have extensive DNA archives, then we go hunting based on what we find. Let's hit the Dex and Jack into the Matrix. I can get into their private grid pr easily, but I've got to warn you, once we're in, it could get a little rough. How much decking experience have you had? Well, I'm pretty damn good. Great. I'll come with, just in case any IC decides to crash our party. Excellent. Alright. Now hopefully I'm doing this right. Unarmed combat. And that's pretty much all I have. Mark target. Alright. What's this? Ah, okay. So that's why I was so confused. This wasn't open yet. So let's see. I got any ESPs? I do not. I've got programs. Oh, those are probably the burnable ones. I'll worry about that. All right. So. AOE is your friend. Dots are also your friend. Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's, that's a debuff. Here's my dot. Straight up. Medic. Alright, so now I have to decide. Do I want a dot? 50 additional. That's, that's all pretty solid. I think for my first time in, I will... I mean, I'm real tempted with the shield. Reduced by 25, but I've got the heal, so it's probably going to be the heal or the shield. I think I'll go with the heal. Let's roll. 
the excruciating ecstasy of jacking your neural network into the digital world washes over you, grips you, crushes you into singularity, and expands you infinitely. You are one with the data stream. Welcome to the Matrix. Excellent. Ah, okay, so here's Johnny. What's his... I can't give him any of mine. Alright, he's running with Killer, Medic, Suppression, and Sniffer. And he's got... Oh, okay, so that must be like a, a user program. Alright, so he, he should be good times. I wish I could give him one of mine, because I could totally upgrade him a little bit, but... Oh, well. Ah, well. Excellent. We're in! Trippy. Alright. Okay, this is kind of wild. Those are my programs, that's a prompt. Let's see. Alright. The arch will take us to the next node. Well, alright then. Lone Star Data Store. Alright, let's... Let's hop you in here then. You... Get to go here. The data store is sti- Data store head is defended. Alright. If that's the case, let's get in position here. Yeah, alright. Ooh. That kind of stings a bit. Hello. Alright. Time to do some interesting stuff. Let's see here. I don't think he's quite hurt bad enough to need a heal. All right, let's let's just throw out. I don't want to mess his day up. Ah, so okay, so you can only use it for two for the next three rounds. Ah, okay, so I can't hit that one. Uh... All right. Mess him up. Oh, wow. That wrecked him up completely. Okay. You got a 75. Alright. Versus I see. Killer. Suppression. Alright. Let's throw... Throw a sniffer up on me so that I can have a better chance of hitting. Ah, uh, oh, okay, so here's the alarm rate. Jacking out, uh, no. Okay. Killer, sniffer, okay. So, you really don't want to piss off the gods of the Matrix, essentially. They will come and just wreck your life. Really, really bad. So, we just won't go there. Alright. Send forth your minion! Excellent. Wreck his life. There we are. Alright. Let's see here. Oh, eeny meeny miny mo. Cat the tiger by the tail. Well, that's nice. Ow. You missed. Um. Bet you I won't. Alright. Straight up beating against the sucker. He's down. Let's see if we match with his fingerprint. Alright. I'm not hacking. No. Damn it. Why why you gotta troll me like that game? DNA match located, hammer to match, arrest record on database. Okay, he's in the system. Sil Silas 
Forsberg. Status deceased. He ain't so deceased. Profession chop shop surgical assistant. Priors breaking and entering, two counts. Public indecency, one count. Brought in for questioning on accusations of unlicensed plastic surgery. No charges were filed. That's to a dead man. Let's keep looking. Alright. Um. Just in case. I don't want to be messing with that. Okay. Let's scamper to the next node then. Sally forth, you big scary thing. Oh! Fortunately, Johnny's over there alone. The Newsnet archive, huh? Uh. Oops, I did not click correctly. Alright. Um. Move there. And let us begin the chaos. There we go. Let's see. In you go. Kinda go wreck that bit. Oh. Got two more hits on this name, Silius. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, let's just go straight. I don't think I actually have to use- Ah, so I don't really have to use my good stuff. Waha! Johnny Clean! Go see what's going on here. Act news article. Newsnet return one subject. Silius, Silas, whatever, Forsberg. The body of Silas Forsberg, a chop shop surgical assistant, was found in an apartment in Snohomish earlier this week. The body had been there for as long as a month when Forsberg landlord noticed a rancid smell and contacted authorities. Lone Star representatives have issued a statement saying Forsberg's death has been ruled a suicide. According to reports, his body... A, his body a mass of puncture wounds. Oh, so... Okay. A mass of puncture wounds and the cause of death was determined to be an overdose of anti-stress medications and sedatives. Good times. The man's employer claims he was dedicated, a dedicated employee, though he suffered from a bouts of depression. Forsberg's next of kin could not be located, but the attorney appointed to his estate, has located a will written weeks prior, leaving all of his belongings to his psychiatrist. The identity of the psychiatrist has not been released due to privacy concerns, yet another sad end to a life, as is far too common here in the sprawl. Now that might be something we can go on. Let's regroup in meat space for a bit. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not quite ready to make that. Termination. And there we go. I kind of want to go see. I'm kind of running a little bit. Can you cast. Let's reduce the alarm state, shall we? Eh, I guess not. Alright. Alright, let's go here. We're kind of running it close, but I kind of want to see what's still rolling. Alright, go see what's going on. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Alright. Autopsy records. Yeah, that could be kind of useful. Good. Oh, we do have... Alright. 
Let's just rock his life. Damn. All right, get over there. Yeah. I guess these aren't considered highly critical, cause. All right, let's. Oh yeah, we are. We are running a little bit close for the. All right, let's just. Not quite. Oh, okay, good enough. Autopsy records. Subject Silius Forsberg. Note: Subject was found overdosed on half a dozen, a dozen different sedatives. Several anti-anxiety medications were also found in his system. Face was mutilated, possibly self-inflicted. Identity could not be confirmed immediately due to disfigurement. Had to check dental records to confirm. No next to kin. Large puncture wounds were found in several places on the body. Possible. Possibly large boar surgical needles. Po body had been decomposing for several weeks before the landlord noticed the smell and called the police when no one answered the door. This just keeps getting weirder. Alright. I do believe it's time to make an exit. Yeah, alright. Cover the, cover the retreat. Anything waiting? Whoa! Shit! Uh. Oh, no. Alright. Uh, I have to figure out how that works. Probably should have known that one was coming, though. Boom, chakalaka. And killer. There we are. Okay, let us GTFO. Oh. Uh, yep, yeah, there you go. And later. All right, cool. That fades. So here's what we know. Our DNA evidence belongs to a dead man whose death was never explained. He worked with chop shops, which fits with the living guy that you've met. The news net says he left his estate to a psychiatrist. Maybe we can find out who his psychiatrist was. Maybe finding out will give us our next clue. My gut says we can deck into the medical board's records and reverse trace to his doctor. You in? Give me a minute to collect my thoughts. Because we're going to call it there. It's been a good run. We did our first foray into the net. So I think we'll call it. So that's it. This has been Tactical Tuesday with Shadowrun Returns. And this is the Gaming Griffin signing off.